In this video, I'm going to compare Name Hero versus Hostinger. I'm going to compare the main similarities and differences these platforms have. And before we start, I want to say I'm not paid by Name Hero. I'm also not paid by Hostinger. This is just my honest opinion about which one is the best, uh, of course, depending on your situation. So let's start. More than 35% of all the WordPress, all the websites right now are made with WordPress. So chances are high that you want to create your website with WordPress if you want to buy hosting on Name Hero or Hostinger. You can also buy a domain here on Name Hero and, and Hostinger. I'm going to compare that as well. I'm going to, I'm going to compare the pricing, um, the features, and some insights, and then the domains. So let's go and see the available um, hostings here. Website hosting here. And you can see it has four plans on Name Hero and on Hostinger we can view all the categories here. Shared web hosting, cloud hosting, WordPress hosting and even some more here, even Minecraft hosting. So we're not going to dive deep into these two because it's not really relevant for this video or it is for big projects. We are going to focus on WordPress hosting for now on Hostinger and on Name Hero. So choose your WordPress hosting plan. These, the uh, cheapest one is for two dollars every single month which is crazy cheap for this you get one website which means you can connect one domain to it 30 gigabytes of storage uh, around 10k visits monthly one email account a free ssl which is nice not a free domain which isn't really weird because it's very very cheap and all these other options which are also included on name hero and we go to name hero then for the same price, nearly the same price, a little bit more expensive, I can tell here, both of these platforms are extremely cheap. Like, uh, average price for, uh, for hosting is way more than this, even the startup plans. So as I said, one website, one gigabyte of RAM, unlimited SSD storage, which is more than the 30 gigabytes here, but I can tell 30 gigabytes is way more than enough and unlimited is just, yeah, it's nice, but you're never going to use this. Um, free another SSL, same as here, not a free domain, which is obvious because of the price. What I would recommend you to do, name hero or hostinger, I would recommend you hostinger for the hosting quality. It's just a little bit faster. It has more servers around the world. I don't want to say that name hero is bad, but Hostinger is just a little bit more, a little bit better in the quality. It has less downtime than the servers of um, Name Hero, which means if you have a website with a lot of downtime, your website is is not working, and that's due to technical or mechanical issues in the server. So if you want an on to create an online store, for example, uh, and dropshipping store you run ads you have to pay the ads over and over again and you have a hosting that has a lot of downtime that's going to cost you money because people can't order the things on your website because the website is not online so that's why i would recommend you hosting her instead of name hero especially if you want to create a store or a affiliate website anything like that um in terms of uh, customer service they're both not good. Like Name Hero, the customer service is not good. Hosting her, not good as well. I can go deeper into that, but because they're on the, on the same level of being not good at all, it doesn't really make a difference. So let's skip that. Uh, if we go to the WordPress starter pack here, which is a little bit more expensive, you can see you can create up to 100 websites on one hosting um, on one hosting plan, which is a lot, which is great. Free email, free SSL, a free domain, which is not included here, which is really, really nice. And if you pay for Hostinger, definitely go for this one. I really, really recommend this one. And on Name Hero, you can go for this one as well, but you can only create seven websites. It's just a little bit more limited than this one. So uh, what I like about Hostinger as well, they're mainly targeting beginners. So they're ma they, are, they made their um, program, their website and everything like that very easy to connect WordPress to it, 
to a domain, an external domain, and on name hero, it's also easy, but it is a little bit more complicated. Not a lot, just slightly more. We can also compare the domains because the hosting is just better on Hostinger. And that's what I would recommend for you, especially in the United States, Australia and Europe, but also in the rest of the world. So let's go to a name hero right now. And now we are going to compare the domains. If I go to domain, I'm going to find a price for this domain. Uh, no, test.com. Available, search. Well, there it is. Can I add it? <laughs> How to test two. Let's do that. Search. There it is. Add to cart. And let's do the same thing on Hostinger and then compare the prices because quality of domains is the same. It's not like, oh, this domain is, is much better than this one, blah, blah, blah. With hosting, that obviously is but not with domains. So we just can compare the price. Here it is, 13 US dollars, almost 13. So let's go to Hostinger, domains, domain checker. Let's look for this and see what the price is. So here it says $9, but it can be a little bit more because of extra costs. So I want to check the latest price in the cart. Um, and as you can see, $11.10. So on Hostinger, the domain is cheaper. So if you want to buy a domain, if you want to save the $1 for, for example, an ice cream or something, then buy the Hostinger one because it's just a little bit cheaper. You can easily connect this domain to the Hostinger web host in the same platform, which is really nice. If you're a beginner, you don't know a lot about external domains, DNS, stuff like that, then just buy the domain on Hostinger and the hosting as well and connect them easily through this platform. So now we can go to the payment methods of both platforms. So these, pay, these platforms are really unique with their payment methods. Um, if we go to Name Hero, you can see credit card and PayPal, which is quite standard. Almost every hosting company does that, but they also accept uh, uh, Coinbase uh, with crypto and Hostinger, also coin payments with Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc, uh, etc, et and Google Pay. So I really like that they added cryptocurrency payments. So both of these accepted, and that's what I really like. So just to summarize, I would recommend Hostinger, especially if you want, are a beginner, if you are, want to create a store, because it has more uptime and better service than the Name Hero one. If this video helped you out, please leave a like. Please subscribe and see you next time. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.